On this one, she has the white outline around her pupils, and on this one, she does not. That's a very interesting difference. What is up, Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. I have a couple of different items happening in this video for you. First off, I have an unboxing from Loot Anime. This is so exciting. I've actually been a Loot Crate customer for many, many years, and they have recently come up with a whole bunch of different Loot Anime boxes that you can subscribe to. So they were kind enough to send me this new Loot Anime crate now this box specifically I believe is from a couple of months ago but I'm gonna show you everything that's in this box I'm super excited to unbox it and I also have the brand new Handy Sands hand sanitizers version 2 from Just Toys. So Just Toys came out with a version one of these Handy Sands, which I found all of them over at Target and I definitely took the entire box with me. I also found version two. I found some of these over at Target and I found some of them at GameStop. So you can find them in multiple different stores, but you do have to hunt around because they're relatively small. I found the ones at Target near the cards. So like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, baseball trading cards. The ones that I got at GameStop were sitting right there at the cash register. So I almost checked out and then I saw them sitting there and I was like, ah! so I picked them all up and I was like, I must have these. So I ended up buying some at GameStop too. I'm a little embarrassed because my GameStop now knows who I am because I go in there so often. And the only thing I'm buying is like Sailor Moon items. So yeah, <laughs> hey GameStop, how's it going? <laughs> so I don't want to get these mixed up, but I have version one over here i have all six. Oh no tuxedo mask clothes okay and then on this side of the table i have version two and you will notice some differences between them so i'll go through each one and show you the differences and tell you a little bit more about them so i'll go ahead and start with tuxedo mask over here he looks almost identical to the original line. So version two doesn't have that many changes when you look at them side by side. You will notice if I hold these up close enough to the camera that version two has a little bit more embossing done. So it's a little more 3D. Version one is a bit more of a flatter print. So if I hold these side by side under the lighting, you can tell that version two has a bit more shadow, a bit more texture compared to version number one. Also between the two, there is a different logo design. So version two has a pink logo design on the tag and version one has a blue design at the bottom, but they generally have the same information on both of them. So I would have to say the biggest difference between these two is Tuxedo Mask's vibrancy. So you will notice that the reds printed on his rose as well as his cape and the bottom of his cape over on this section is a lot more vibrant than the original, which looks a little bit more washed out. I also noticed that his shirt, his button up shirt that he wears underneath there, that is a little bit more of a bluish color. And on version two, it's definitely white. I gotta say, I think I like version one more because she's so vibrant and the coloring is so vibrant. On version two, she looks more pastel. But with that said, I do feel like the color could have been changed just a little bit on the version two. So for example, and I will bring out my girl's memories figure. See how her brooch is a different color than her collar and her skirt? On here, her brooch is the same color as her collar and her skirt, and the same thing on version one. So that's a big difference that I see between them. The other thing I noticed was that she actually has a band at the top of her shoe on this one, while this one is just a line that's cut through. So I like that one better. On Sailor Jupiter, biggest thing that I noticed was how vibrant her earrings are. Look at the roses. They're so hot pink on version two compared to version one. I also noticed Look, she has little shoelaces. I'm so happy she has shoelaces on version two. That definitely pops, and I think it looks really adorable. So she looks cute in both of them, but I love the hot pink of her earrings in version two. Now let's talk about Sailor Mars. I don't know if you can see the difference in the camera, but between these two, this one almost looks washed out in her hair. Isn't that weird? And this is version two, so she, her hair looks almost like a 
dark, dark, dark brown as compared to the first version, which definitely looks black. Now, another item that I noticed that is different between these two is her earrings. Her earrings are more defined on version two than version one. I love how purple her eyes are on version two and her skirt seems to be a little bit more defined. Here is Sailor Mercury. And between the two, I like the coloring on version one a little bit more. I feel like it's a little more accurate. This one, the bow almost looks more green almost like a sea green color. So that's kind of interesting, but check that out. At the top of her boots, we have a white strip as opposed to this somewhat grayish color strip at the top of the version one blue boots. Something else I just noticed about Mercury and Venus is look, she has a white outline at the edge of her eyes, no white outline at the edge of her eyes on version two. Same with Venus, white outlined at the edge of her eyes on version one, no white outline at the edge of her eyes on version two. So that's kind of an interesting difference there. Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Mars do not have that difference between them. Both of them have the same type of eyes. However, there's a bit of a different coloring as far as whether they're purple or green. There's a bit more of a difference in color there. So I think the one that has the biggest difference would be Sailor Moon. She had a lot of differences going into the version two, uh, which I appreciated between the two. So I'm really happy that I was able to get version two because she's adorable and there are some really well needed changes. And I think she pops a little bit more given that the backdrop, the actual hand sanitizer pack is a light pink as opposed to this bright pink, which matched her boots on the first one. So starting from the top, she does have a more of a 3D face, a more shadowed effect on her face. So I do appreciate that. I also like that they changed the tiara to have a crescent moon at the top, as opposed to the red little gem at the top of her tiara on that one. We also have a little bit better earrings. So she actually has the little pearls going down to the crescent moon on her earrings. And there's a crescent moon at the top of her boots. That's a really cool change. Now, another big difference that I wanted to mention too, the coloring is obviously a little bit different, but also look at her compact. It's well-defined on version two when compared to version one. So that's a big difference as well. Now, similar to Venus and Mercury, she also has the difference on her eyes. On this one, she has the white outline around her pupils. And on this one, she does not. That's a very interesting difference. Now, of course, you can always change out the hand sanitizer if you don't like these ones because they are a pretty generic size. Oh, yeah, it's strong. Definitely hand sanitizer. I am glad I don't have any paper cuts because that is a strong, strong scent, <laughs> but it works. Okay, so those were all of the Sailor Moon Handy Sands from Just Toys. I believe they cost around $4.99 or $5.99. So if you see these on a secondhand website, don't spend a lot of money on them because they are rather inexpensive items to purchase if you intend to just buy a few of them, unlike me buying like 12 of them, which is a little bit excessive. So uh, yeah, I did that. I am very curious about what's in here because I don't watch a lot of newer anime. So if you recognize any of this stuff and you're a big anime watcher, let me know where they are from if I don't know. So I am super, super excited because Loot Anime did send me this box and they also gave me a coupon code for y'all, if you are interested in using it, that coupon code will get you 15% off your box. So the coupon code is SAILORSNUBS15. That's all one word. And I'll put it down right there so you can easily read it off of the screen. And I'll put it down in the show notes as well in case you are interested in subscribing to one of these boxes. This is not my first loot anime box. I got one that was Sailor Moon themed and I got this really cool bottle opener that was shaped like the moon stick and that was one of my favorite items in a loot anime box. I've also subscribed to their Harry Potter box. They also have a Firefly box and I got all of the first season of those. I've gotten random other boxes, just kind of depending on the theme, I'll sign up for whatever box I'm interested in. So they have a whole bunch that you can choose from and I do really appreciate how big they are. They're definitely worth the money. Okay, so here we have the loot anime box. Hmm, very interesting. 
I see a gigantic bag, which is nice. Oh, good. There's a there's a thing in here. Okay, so Loot Anime Journey. Journey is the theme of my Loot Anime box. Whether you are bonding with your newfound golem friend, traveling to Antarctica, or going from town to town with your talking motorcycle, <laughs> pack your bags and get ready for an adventure with this month's Loot Anime Crate, which is Journey. So in here we have, it looks like we got four items. So there's an exclusive Yume handy touch tool. Oh, those are useful. Nice, I like that. There's a Kino's Journey refueling drinking canteen. There is a Somali and the Four Spirit travel buddies t-shirt. And we also got a, a place further than the universe Arctic picnic thermal lunch bag. Interesting. So I have not watched any of these. If you have, and you're also a Sailor Moon fan, tell me which one I should watch. Uh, because I'm curious if I would enjoy any of these. I like Bishoujo anime, so I'm not really sure if I would enjoy any of them, but I'd be more than happy to check them out. So this shirt, oh good, they sent me a small. That's great. Oh, that is cute. That's adorable. I mean, I don't even know this anime, but it's very, very cute. I really like that print. It's very pretty. So this features, I don't know, a girl on a, on her robot friend, <laughs> I guess. And we also have some forest spirits around there, which is very reminiscent of Princess Mononoke. I appreciate that. This looks really cute. Oh, I love the butterflies up at the top. That's very pretty. That's a really pretty print and it's very, very nice and detailed. Somali and the forest spirit. That's cool, okay. And then I also got Kino's Journey, the animated series thermal flask. I'm definitely a person who really enjoys like classic animes from the 90s and from the early 2000s. Um, I've been so busy developing my career as a YouTuber that I haven't watched any new anime in a long time, except for like Violet Evergarden. I watched that. Okay, so here we have a flask. Oh, that's nice. That's really nicely made. And it feels like it's, is that stainless steel? It's very pretty and it's definitely metal. Oh, it is stainless steel. Cool. It says stainless steel, five ounces. It's a nice size. That's really cute. Kino's Journey. Is that a good anime? Should I watch it? Let me know. So this is something, I don't know who Yume is, but I appreciate that Yume has a touch tool because I'm gonna stick this in my purse and use it all the time. These are really cool if you don't wanna touch keyboards or keypads, or if you're at like an ATM machine and you don't wanna to touch the buttons, you can use one of these. I'm actually super excited to have one of these now because I'm totally going to use it. These are very, very useful tools. Very nice things to have. And last but definitely not least, we have this very large tote, this lunch bag. Wow, this is really nice. It says Penguin Manju Go on the bottom, a place further than the universe insulated tote bag. So this is definitely insulated on the inside. We have a couple of straps to be able to carry it around and it does have a zipper closure. And there's also, oh, there's like a hidden compartment, a hidden pouch in here you uh, can pull down and stick something in there. Pretty crunchy though, so I'm gonna close that. That's cute and it's really big. Well, I do live in Denver now, so uh, I could definitely use something that's insulated. That might be useful. <laughs> this is cute though, I like the little penguin. I'm a Linux user, so I'm a fan of Tux and this kind of reminds me of Tux. However, again, haven't seen this anime. I would love to though. Let me know uh, what you think of this loot anime box. So if you are interested in subscribing to a loot anime box, again, my coupon code is sailorsnubs15. I will put a direct link down below so you can easily sign up for one if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to. And they do have a lot of really cool theme boxes. Even if you don't want an anime box, they have other themed boxes as well. Like I had mentioned earlier, Firefly and Harry Potter ones were the ones that I had gotten in the past. So loot anime boxes include exclusive anime and manga collectibles and some gear. So you can get all sorts of items delivered to your door. They say that it's a $60 plus value and these do start at $29.99 per crate. So this month's loot anime theme is work. So there's an Ace Attorney item. You also get an Agretsuko item. I love Agretsuko. So I think I would love this box. There's also Urahara, 
Akka, I've never seen Akka, and Skull Face Bookseller, Honda-san. <laughs> they also have a Crunchyroll Crete, which delivers items that are exclusive to Crunchyroll. There's a Mobile Suit Gundam Life Crate series. There's a Hello Kitty and Friends Crate and a Loot Anime Fury Crate as well. Some of my favorites from Loot Crate in the past have been the Loot Sci-Fi Crate, which included some Star Trek items, the Firefly one, the Wizarding World Crate, which is the Harry Potter crate. There's also the Elder Scrolls crate, which I really like, and the Loot Gaming crate as well. So there's tons and tons to choose from, whichever one you are interested in purchasing. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, do not forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and put a comment down below if you have any questions. And until next time, I am Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much again for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Ciao!